In the domain of science and immense enigmas, the topic of what came before the Big Bang has stirred discussions and captivated thinkers for ages. This profound inquiry doesn't merely examine how we interpret the cosmos, it pushes the absolute boundaries of human comprehension. Imagine yourself at the brink of existence, staring into the vast unknown, and pondering the existence of anything prior to the creation of our universe. The occurrence of the Big Bang signaled the onset of time, space, and everything familiar to us. But was there a moment before this event? Could there have been a state of total stillness, a silence before the cosmic unfolding began? And if so, was it truly empty? Or did something even more extraordinary precede time itself? As we delve deeper into this question, science leads us on a voyage beyond the birth of the universe, into ideas that stretch the limits of our awareness. Renowned physicist Brian Cox, celebrated for exploring the marvels of the universe, proposes that something unexpected may have existed prior to the Big Bang. He challenges us to rethink our concepts of existence and reality. In this exploration, we'll break down the science, the hypotheses, and the mesmerizing mysteries that could help explain what came before everything we know. We'll consider theories involving inflationary expansion, quantum shifts, dark energy, and even parallel universes. The revelations may astonish you, but they also have the power to reshape how we perceive our place in the cosmos. Prepare to venture into a realm beyond imagination and empirical science a space where the unknown still weaves through the darkness, leaving scientists amazed and, at times, unsettled. Let's examine what may have preceded the Big Bang and why such ideas disrupt everything we assume to be true. To understand what might have come before the Big Bang, we first need to thoroughly examine what the Big Bang actually was. Scientists describe the Big Bang as the instant when the universe became incredibly dense and scorching hot, rapidly expanding to initiate the formation of matter, energy, and the fundamental forces. When we gaze into the night sky, we observe evidence of this fiery origin, galaxies moving outward from a common point in their early history. But why did this happen? And was there a phase before this intense expansion? The inflation theory says that there was a time before, but it wasn't peaceful or empty. Cosmic inflation posits that before the Big Bang, the universe was cold, sparse, and relatively structureless, resembling a vast vacuum. Yet this vacuum wasn't completely void. It contained an enormous quantity of energy that drove the swift expansion of space. This expansion, known as inflation, was so rapid that it laid the foundation for everything that followed, a phase of space growing at unimaginable speeds until the process slowed, allowing the energy to convert into particles, matter, and forces, ushering in what we perceive as the Big Bang. But what was this energy? Why did it cause the universe to expand so suddenly? And what halted it? Experts believe that this boundless inflation may have produced patches of the cosmos, each undergoing its own version of a Big Bang. Envision a limitless sheet stretching out, forming tiny bubbles here and there, each bubble representing a separate universe, including ours. This concept, called the inflationary multiverse, proposes the existence of countless Big Bangs and an infinite array of universes. Ours is just one among many. This staggering possibility challenges the very foundation of cosmology and forces us to ask. What else lies beyond? The notion of absolute emptiness before the Big Bang remains highly speculative and, according to current physics, not practically real. Even if you stripped away all matter, energy, and radiation, true nothingness still wouldn't exist. Our universe is permeated by dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and invisible forces that form an inescapable fabric of somethingness. Even in the most empty scenarios, even if we imagined removing all these components and were left with a barren void, new energy would still emerge from this seeming nothing. This alone confounds scientists, implying that genuine emptiness may be unattainable within the framework of our infinite universe. Space has inherent attributes, physical laws, and constants that prevent it from ever being truly vacant. Imagine crafting a space devoid of particles, radiation, and all energy. Even in this hypothetical vacuum, quantum fields and physical constants would remain. This suggests that what we call nothing still has structure. For example, there's a phenomenon known as zero-point energy, which describes the lowest energy state of quantum fields. In this condition, particles can still momentarily appear and disappear, creating a ghostly hum of activity in what should be stillness. This contradicts our classical idea of a void and implies that even before the Big Bang, there was something, something we are only starting to comprehend. One of the most astonishing ideas in modern cosmology is the prospect of endless inflation. If inflation birthed our universe, perhaps it continues to generate new universes indefinitely. In the inflationary multiverse that Brian Cox describes, 
universes are constantly forming and expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a spark igniting another cosmos, while inflation carries on in remote regions, spawning countless others. This eternal cycle introduces the idea of a fractal universe, where every new universe could give rise to its own Big Bang. Each one would be independent, unaffected by the rest due to the rapid separation of expanding space. For physicists, this notion is thrilling yet disturbing. It implies a multiverse without beginning or end and positions our universe as just one small piece in a vast, ever-growing cosmic network. What if there's no before or after, only an infinite, timeless cycle of formation and decay? Our understanding of nothingness changes dramatically when we look through the lens of quantum field theory. This theory suggests the universe is not merely a collection of matter drifting through space, but a vibrant lattice of energy fields interacting and giving rise to everything we observe. Particles in these fields behave like waves, similar to invisible oceans. Even in their lowest energy state, the vacuum fields are dynamic. Particles can flash into existence briefly, gain energy, then vanish, leaving behind a whisper of their existence. These virtual particles challenge the notion of a true vacuum. Imagine a universe stripped of matter and radiation, would that be pure emptiness? According to quantum theory, no. Fields would persist, fluctuating and sometimes generating short-lived particles. This ceaseless activity in apparent nothingness tells us the universe never reaches absolute zero. Instead, it bubbles with hidden energy that defies emptiness. This insight raises another question. If energy fields spawn particles, and particles create matter, could the universe have emerged from this so-called nothing? Dark energy, the mysterious force responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe, could be a remnant from before the Big Bang. The fact that dark energy still exists may hint at. The fact that dark energy still exists may hint at a deeper, more ancient origin, perhaps a leftover from a phase that predates our known universe. Some physicists propose that this persistent force could be a fingerprint from an earlier cosmos, imprinted into the very fabric of space-time we now inhabit. This possibility opens the door to theories like the cyclic model of the universe, which suggests that the cosmos undergoes endless cycles of birth, expansion, collapse, and rebirth. In this view, the Big Bang wasn't a singular beginning, but one of many cosmic bounces in an eternal rhythm. Time itself may be cyclical, not linear, and the remnants of previous universes could subtly influence the current one. Yet, another tantalizing idea comes from quantum gravity, an area of physics that attempts to reconcile general relativity with quantum mechanics. Some models propose that the Big Bang was not a true beginning but a transition, a phase change from a prior quantum state of the universe. Before what we call time and space, there may have been a timeless quantum reality, an abstract but real framework from which our universe emerged, not unlike steam condensing into water. Loop quantum cosmology, for instance, suggests that instead of a singularity, a point of infinite density and zero volume, the universe had a finite minimum size. According to this model, a previous universe may have collapsed and bounced into ours. If true, this big bounce replaces the traditional Big Bang as the origin story and introduces the notion of a pre-existing cosmos governed by quantum principles. But if the Big Bang was just a phase in an endless cycle, then what drives the transitions between these epochs? What mechanisms regulate the destruction and rebirth of entire universes? Here, the boundaries between physics and philosophy begin to blur. We are left not only with scientific curiosity but with existential questions. Why is there something rather than nothing? Could the origin of the universe be tied to a deeper principle, perhaps information, symmetry, or even consciousness? As we explore these questions, we must confront the limitations of our tools and the nature of human cognition itself. Our understanding of time, space, and causality is rooted in the universe we observe, but what if the framework we use is inadequate to grasp realities that lie beyond our own? Still, the pursuit continues. Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope peer deeper into the early universe, collecting data that might hint at subtle traces of what came before. High-energy particle accelerators probe the quantum world in search of clues about the universe's earliest moments. And theoretical physicists build ever more elaborate models, hoping to bridge the gap between the known and the unknowable. In the end, the question of what came before the Big Bang may never have a definitive answer. But in chasing it, we push the frontiers of knowledge and imagination. We are reminded that the universe is not only vast and ancient, but also profoundly mysterious. And perhaps that mystery is what makes the journey worthwhile. An ancient field predating our cosmos, dark energy, in a more potent form, may have sparked inflation and driven the rapid expansion of space, according to some theories. 
If dark energy endures even in the absence of matter, then perhaps it shaped the conditions that allowed our universe to come into being. Could it be the hidden hand behind inflation or even the original spark? As we entertain this idea, dark energy transforms from a passive force to a potential architect of existence, holding secrets about the multiverse. Another alternative is found in cyclic cosmology, the idea that the universe is caught in an infinite loop of creation, destruction, and rebirth. Here, the Big Bang is not a single occurrence but one phase in an eternal sequence of expansion and collapse. Our universe may have emerged from the remnants of a previous one, collapsing and re-emerging over and over again. If this theory is accurate, there may never have been a first universe. Instead, existence is cyclical, constantly renewing itself. This model also alters our concept of time, suggesting it may be circular, not linear. A universe born, evolving, dying, and reawakening endlessly would have no true beginning. Gravitational waves, ripples in space-time caused by massive events, offer another avenue for understanding pre-Big Bang conditions. If early gravitational waves were detected, they might reveal echoes from before the Big Bang itself. These signals could preserve information about a past cosmic state and serve as evidence that something existed before our universe. Such a discovery would be groundbreaking, possibly validating theories that point to a pre-Big Bang reality. As we pursue these questions, we explore ideas that push the boundaries of logic, time, and space. One of the most ambitious is quantum gravity, which aims to unite quantum mechanics and Einstein's general relativity into one theory. This union could revolutionize our understanding of what preceded the Big Bang. According to quantum gravity, space and time might not be smooth, but instead made of tiny units at the Planck scale. These discrete structures could have generated the space-time fabric we know today. In this model, what we perceive as continuous space and time only emerged after quantum fluctuations shaped them from something more primal. This radically different framework implies that, before the Big Bang, reality may not have included time or space as we understand it. The string landscape, arising from string theory, adds another layer. It suggests our universe is one of many, each defined by different physical constants and laws. Tiny vibrating strings underlie all particles, and each arrangement of these strings creates a different universe. This framework allows for infinite possible universes, each beginning with its own Big Bang and evolving independently. This implies we're not alone in the cosmos, but one drop in a vast ocean of realities. Some theorists propose that our universe might have originated from a black hole in another universe. A new universe could theoretically emerge from the density infinite singularity at a black hole center. The Big Bang may, in fact, be the outcome of such an event. This idea suggests that black holes may serve as cosmic wombs, creating new realities beyond their event horizons. If true, each black hole could be a portal to another universe. Last but not least, the idea of time itself might be misleading. If time began with the Big Bang, then asking what came before is meaningless, there would have been no before without time itself. Cosmologists have proposed that time originated from a chaotic quantum event that occurred in the past, present, and future. Others return to cyclic time, where the universe eternally bounces between expansion and collapse. In this vision, the Big Bang is just one cycle among countless others, no beginning, no end, only a rhythm of cosmic breathing. Some theories even envision a primordial soup of particles and fields, quarks, leptons, bosons, all churning in a high-energy state before expansion. These building blocks may have existed in a quantum foam, constantly flickering in and out of existence due to the uncertainty principle. This soup could provide a bridge to the time before time. In the end, the question of what existed before the Big Bang remains one of the deepest puzzles in modern science. As our understanding of physics, space, and time advances, so too do our theories, each more intricate than the last. While we may never have a definitive answer, the pursuit of this mystery drives humanity forward, fueling our innate desire to explore the unknown. This pursuit is not merely academic, it touches something deeply human, our need to understand our place in the cosmos. Every new theory about the origins of the universe is a mirror, reflecting our evolving knowledge, our curiosity, and our imagination. As telescopes peer deeper into space and particle accelerators probe the subatomic world, we inch closer to peeling back the veil that shrouds the very birth of existence. New instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and proposed gravitational wave detectors promise to reveal unprecedented details about the early universe. They may detect the faintest whispers of the cosmos' first moments, or even trace elements of what came before. If such evidence is found, it may not just reshape cosmology but also challenge the very structure of human thought. 
Because to understand before the Big Bang, is to grapple with the meaning of time, existence, and causality itself. What does it mean for something to exist outside time? Can there be befores and artas without a temporal framework? These are not just scientific questions, but philosophical ones, deeply intertwined with how we define reality. As science advances, the line between physics and philosophy blurs. The question of what came before the Big Bang is no longer just about particles and equations, it is about origins, identity, and the ultimate nature of being. We are not only searching for cosmic truths but for a narrative that explains everything, from galaxies to consciousness. And perhaps, in the grandest sense, we are part of that narrative, the universe trying to understand itself. Each theory, each experiment, each moment of all beneath a starlit sky, is a step along that path.